Hoodie so in the building. Dewey so in the building. Gazer. Gazer. Nature so in the building, man. Simple. So I probably just heard one of the best songs this year. Probably one of the best songs I ever heard in a long time. Probably top five songs I ever heard in my life. Most of the music I listen to, it gets me lit, but it's pointless. It, it serves no purpose for my life. I just be in a car vibing or just working out, listening to Lil Baby and them. But none of their music have serious messages behind it. It ain't got shit to do with what's going on right now. It's really pointless. It serves no purpose. All the girls, all their music pointless. All they rapping about is just... They putting in they, they, they self in position to just be hoes. Like, nobody cares about the woman music, really. It's just the kids and TikTok challenges and twerking and a lot of just sexual shit. Men is rapping about how much money they making, how much cars and shit they got, how many hoes they fucking, etc. Vice versa. Nobody is really talking about anything important. And this is one of the most important times in everybody's life that's on this planet. I came across this song because y'all was emailing me. I heard this artist, his name is Tom McDonald. He dropped a song called Brainwash that y'all can see is trending. Number 10. Now y'all gotta understand, they do everything in their power to mute conscious artists from just straight muting their music to killing them, all type of stuff. A lot of conscious rappers that speak the truth, stuff happened to them. This man is transcendent, he's, he's going crazy right now. So listen, I want y'all to, I want to, this is why I'm bringing y'all this video. The stuff he's saying in this video is shit that I talk about on a regular basis on this channel. He hitting in deep. He's going very, very deep in here. I feel like this video is very, very important for a lot of y'all to listen to. A lot of y'all should start dropping music like this. I know it's a lot of conscious artists, but it seems like more people is trying to be like the niggas they seeing. Like, more people is trying to be like these rappers that they seeing in the industry. That's getting canceled and shit instead of just trying to be they self. For all my new subscribers, all my reactions are live. I seen this video. I'm about to just go over some of the points that he made and then I'm gonna just keep it moving. I gotta get my nature. Without further ado, let's get to this video, bro. Pay close attention, y'all. The country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity gossip, popular neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. He said we only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers and all these motherfuckers that died in the army. Veterans Day. They only get one day, right? The most important people, it seems like, for America, who out here fighting the war, stealing shit for, the, for their country, all type of shit, just out, out there. They only get one day. The arms get blew off, all type of kill streaks being put on these niggas. They got the AC-130 chopper gunners. Niggas got to run for their life, and we only celebrate them one day. But now listen to what he's saying. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The but if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you consider the hero and they give you a whole pride month. Why the hell do the LG... Listen, I tell you straight up, once again, the LGBTQ community is something dark and more sinister behind that shit. Like, we're talking about the pride month. Bro, these motherfucking... These... I dropped a video about Lil Nas X. I have said enough about the LGBTQ community. It's not about gays or bisexual. It's about the community. Just like it's not about black people. It's about that Black Lives Matter community. That bullshit. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it paints the picture and make, and make whites hate blacks. When meanwhile, we ain't all in that fucking community. The LGBTQ community, Lil Nas X, all these niggas, they make gays and bisexuals go through the most shit because of that community i told y'all this and then every rapper i told y'all every fucking artist the people that's cutting their checks they bosses are gay bro they the whole industry is gay how do y'all not everybody have came out saying that how much shit goes down in hollywood all your rappers is trying to make it in hollywood or already passed through this is why the LGBT community is so fucking pushed to you because the whole community, everybody, everybody that's in power are gay. 
They care more about that community than babies coming up missing, human trafficking. I don't hear nobody talking about shit. But as soon as you say one thing about a motherfucking the LGBTQ, you, 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 you're losing sponsors, you're getting demonized by all type of people. How the fuck is it possible for you to get canceled by a gay community if you're not gay? Because your bosses are gay. They don't like you talking about their people. <sighs> but once again, the Veterans Day, they get one day. LGBTQ community, who the fuck is creating a calendar? Who making a calendar? Who the hell just gave these niggas a month? These niggas out there dancing with thongs on and shit. <laughs> like, what the hell? I'm like, oh! Have y'all noticed that that LGBTQ community is very pornographic, bro? These niggas is... Why is it so sexual? But keep listening. Most dangerous pandemics, propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like... Remember, they trying to get y'all to defund the police. I told y'all this. In the next two years, it ain't gonna be enough police. If you call the police right now, they're not showing up right away. Let's pray to God you don't have to go through something. These people y'all send so much hate to, these cops. Now they, if y'all haven't noticed, if you look behind every police car, they say they now recruiting. It's not enough cops, bro. Y'all gonna need to hire private security. The ones that's gonna have a lot of security is the motherfuckers who got money. Y'all people that's voting for these Democrats and all y'all people who supposed to be like suffering the most, y'all ain't gonna have nobody to protect y'all in a minute. Trying to tell y'all this, the defunded police shit is real and these people is stepping down, they ain't going through this shit. They not risking their life no more for, for crumbs. In the next two years, y'all gonna have to hire police. Y'all gonna have to hire private security. This is what they wanted. Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world, the only wars to get fought. Are Let me remind son, hold on. I'm about to play it through, look. There's pandemics, propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. Like, Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. Every patient that they cure is a customer lost. Why would they cure, why would they cure cancer if they can just treat you? They already got the cure for everything that they created. Why would they cure you when they can create the medicine that can slowly treat you? Keep making money off your insurance. Keep making money off of you. Every disease you can think of is created by them. It's already here, bro. The, the, the cures is already, it's already here. If it is any fucking disease that you're afraid of, the cure is already here. Why the hell would they cure any fucking human when they can just treat your ass and make billions? He's speaking some shit, bro. Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man. I gotta rewind that one more time. Heard is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. The only wars they got y'all niggas in the army out there fighting. All y'all motherfuckers is out there fighting. Y'all stealing from people. Just like this land that y'all stole. Y'all fighting for some land that's stolen. It don't belong to y'all. This is why y'all gonna keep seeing floods and all type of heat waves. They Y'all motherfuckers. Bro, listen. But listen. Every army, every war that's fought is to steal something for America, bro. Y'all have to look deeper. Everything that's fought is something deeper behind it. I, even the people that's in the army know it. They just there for the benefits. They don't have nothing else to look forward to in life. Life is tough, so they join the army for the benefits. But real shit. I'm claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Bang. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. The government got everybody fighting against each other. Look at all the people that got the... Look how they're treating the people who don't. Remember at one point, 
Everybody was mad at Trump and Biden. We just did not. We couldn't stand the government last year. All of that hate is towards the people who don't got vaccine. The, the, your own government has forced you to hate your own family, people, you. You hate yourself. Your own government has took all the, the energy and attention off of them and put it all towards the people who don't have. It's like the unvaccinated versus the world. The whole world is turned against us now. <laughs> See how they turned us against each other? Blue, red, Democrat, Republican, black, white, all lives matter, black lives matter. It's always a separation so we can't never just look at the real problem. It's them. Wake up. It's them. My nigga, I ain't got no more tea. Nice, bro. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. Nothing gets damaged. The whole world's sleep and they're going to suffer. A lot of people going to keep dying for a lack of knowledge. The whole world is really brainwashed, my boy Tom. My bad. Hold on, y'all. Damn. So, you that rusty? You need to get back doing reactions. You against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe. Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or- I want y'all to think about how long weed has been. Now weed is legal, right? But as soon as you turn 18, type shit, you was able to like smoke. Cigarettes, you was able to do a lot of shit. Dude. A lot of niggas that got arrested for years, people doing 10, 20 plus years for marijuana. They getting out of jail and they sending them to work at dispensaries. People did 10, 20 plus years for something that's free now. But the main thing, cancer, cigarettes was never banned. You never can go to jail for smoking of cancer sticks. Alcohol, one of the worst things we could put in our body. You can go get that any fucking time. You could be 18 in Canada and go get it. The sheep. They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us. I find it hard to believe. Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life. Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know. I remember I dropped a video about that. A lot of y'all gotta understand. This Chip is way deeper than just tracking your ass. My nigga, they merging you with something way deeper that's coming. They merging your DNA with something. It's not about chipping. Bro, you use GPS all the fucking time. They already know everything you do. Every time you do something, every purchase you make, all they got to do is just type in your shit. Every, bro, listen. Every time you use GPS, every time you use Uber, every time you use Uber Eats, no matter what you're doing, they know what you're doing. They know where you're at. Hey, Siri is always listening. She's all. <laughs> she always ready, waiting for you to say something. It's like you just nonstop being recorded. Like the motherfuckers listening to me right now. Who cares? So when you hear about that chipping shit, stop thinking about to track you. It's deeper than that. It's to change your DNA, man. You already being tracked. We all are. It ain't shit we can do. You got face recognition now, man. At first, remember they had the fingerprint. Come on, man. You don't need to go far to track a bot ass person. Come on, bro. I don't know who the hell is looking at me through this fucking webcam. I'm probably not the only person looking at me right now. These niggas be going crazy on the deep web. I know y'all seen all these dark webs. Niggas hacking people webcams. They hacking their cameras. Bro, you can do all type of shit. 
in your life Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device And I don't know what I'm all sick of Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner Cause censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter Is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles You don't trust the police or the government but you They tried very hard to get Trump Trump destroyed the world, his role was played perfect he caused the separation. He made the Republicans very, very, very strong. I feel bad for Q movement. What happened to y'all? Because, bro, not gonna lie. If Trump can't do shit without social media, he, it's not possible for him to be chosen for y'all. They got him up out of here. It sounded like y'all got fucked over. He was y'all Lord and Savior. He had everything to do with the separation. Red, blue, black, white. Trump played a big part. Trump. I told all y'all. They did get Trump off. They deleted Trump off everything, huh? Bring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight. They can fight us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody make a team, start a riot in the streets. Listen. Train the people only to consume step two. Infiltrate adults with the news step three. Indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use step four. Separate the right from the left step five. Separate the white from the black step six. Separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more step seven. Fabricate a problem made a lie step eight. Put it on the news every night step nine. When people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. They can't stop us, cause we're ready to fight. We need more rappers doing this right now, bro. This whole song holds a vibration. We need more we need more people doing this right now. People need to start putting it. And then if you look at all his shit, let me show y'all this. Nixon Master. Artist song, Brandwatch, publishing. Licensed by, on behalf of Tom McDonald, her third party. All of this, he's not attached to no industry. This is him. Like a lot of y'all be thinking y'all gotta go to the industry and do shit. He did all this by himself on his channel. With his team. Channel, all you need is a YouTube channel. Just do you. Be great. Stop paying attention to these puppets. Like, listening to this and then going back listening to Lil Baby is not going to hit the same, really. Unless, like, I'm in a gym working out. Yeah, but... Everything that came out of his mouth is touching. Us, but we won't let freedom die. Video by Nova Rockefeller. Um, I think when I checked out Fake Woke video from you, I think Nova is his girl, I think. I think that's his girlfriend or his wife. I don't know. I don't know too much, y'all. But, dude, by far, that's the best song I heard this year. By far. No song fucker with that. Not even close. If you conscious, I want you to know. Don't, never be afraid to speak your mind. And you have to understand these rappers that you see in place right now, they, it won't be long before all that shit crash. All of they puppet masters, all the ones that's making them get canceled, that's making them come out and apologize, all these people are gay. And they all falling. It's not about them being gay. It's just you have to understand where, why the LGBTQ community is so powerful because 
Everybody that you look up to, everybody that you trying to get that Hollywood shit, they all secretly are gay. Anyway, take care of yourself, man. Tom McDonald, keep pushing, man. Keep the message coming. You one of the chosen ones. You doing this shit on your own. Take care of yourself, man. I love y'all. Spiritual soul signing out, bro.